Hey everyone, this week the unique theme is these are two cars that I pretty much owned. Uh, they're nearly identical to two real cars I've owned over the past few years. First one up is a DNA Collectibles Saab 93 Vigan. This is as close as I could get to the real car I had. I had a blue, which is lightning blue, uh, three-door coupe. This was the first DNA Saab ever offered, the first DNA model altogether. And this is obviously a 9.3 convertible. Um, I was just happy to have a Vigan, period, but now they're doing a pre-order on the Vigan Coupe. So, I obviously want that. This is one of the only times you guys on YouTube can contact me about buying one of my die casts, because this I will be selling to get a Coupe. These have long sold out. They only made, I think, 320. This is car number 52. It's been displayed briefly mostly in a enclosed cabinet its whole life. I have all the packaging materials. So if you want it, this is your chance. Uh, the Vigan came out in 1999. Uh, they made about 400 in blue. This being a convertible came out in 2000, the only year you could get a blue convertible. These were manual transmission only. About a 225 horsepower uh, turbo 4, 2.3 liters, 230 horsepower in this year about 258 pound-feet of torque and they were known, known as a uh, torque steer kings this DNA I don't know this is just very very well done very well executed the badging the paintwork the interior is, is excellent the two-tone the texture in the seats everything is just very well executed um, you have an open mesh grill you can actually make out the intercooler behind it my only issue, if I'm being critical, is the brakes. Those are much more substantial than stock. Those calipers look like four-piston Brembos when, you know, real car had, like, single-piston little dainty ones. Also on the back, yeah, <laughs> the real car has much more dainty calipers and probably slightly smaller 308-millimeter front discs. But that's just being very, very critical. This is really very well done. Very happy with it. I'm, like I said, I'm just getting rid of this just to have the coupe because I had a three-door coupe, which I modified and got into European Car Magazine. I had a two-page spread in 2005. Loved that car. Modified it. It would, you know, basically jump two lanes when you gave it gas. I mean, look at the little scale metal um, lock cylinder right there. I mean, just DNA really kills it in a good way. And it has a scale top. Convertible top that has the, the froster lines on it. Really neat. I paid, I think the asking price was like 175 landed back in the day. Um, you literally can't even find a sold one on eBay. So I don't even know an accurate comp. The Aero X, which was one of the, the next ones they released, did 650 on eBay. So I don't know. Is it a $200 car, a $300 car, a $400 car? Not sure. I really don't know. Packaging, I've shown my DNA packaging before. It comes in kind of microfiber and you know, it's just really nice extravagant packaging. So I had my Vigan from 2005 to 2009-ish. Now this, this is a Cadillac ATS. This is a Chinese domestic model. So it's actually an ATS-L for a long wheelbase. Uh, because in China, a lot of the executives are driven around. They don't drive. We obviously did not get the long wheelbase in America. But we actually had this car, this color, an eight, a regular ATS. Um, we actually had two because the first one was totaled by a teenager texting who crossed a solid line. So when the car was only two or three months old, we bought another one, which was this red color with light colored leather. And this has a lot of features. This is basically kind of a no-name Chinese model that you'd get at the dealership, but the, I mean the seats slide forward, you have carpeting, the doors, the door mirrors, you know, rotate in and out, which is nice. This would be a 2016 and up, you can tell by the slight bumper refresh. These had two liter turbo fours and all wheel drive, like ours was all wheel drive. If you got all-wheel drive, it was automatically an automatic. You could not get the six-speed manual in all-wheel drive, only with rear-wheel drive. The trunk opens. It is carpeted, and even the, the underside 
This carpet, you can even see the warning triangle. I mean, really neat. Let's see if I can get the back door open. There's definitely more room in the back than ours. The North American car, the back seat, the legroom is tight. That was our one complaint with it. We had it for a couple years and just traded it in on the replacement, which is called the CT4. You have a rotating drive shaft. You can make that out. I mean, the details are great. This retailed for, I don't know, a couple hundred dollars, 150, sometimes does almost 300 on eBay. Thanks to a friend, I got this for about 60, 70 bucks. That price, I'm definitely not mad at it. ATS was a great car. It was safe. I mean, we were largely unharmed from a front offset hit at about 50 miles per hour, which is the worst kind of crash you can have. So it's the only time I bought a car more than once and knew how crash worthy it was. It's the packaging, which is very nice split dealership box. And it literally came with came with gloves to handle it. Came with a nice base with a nice little metal insert. So really nice. Very, very nice. Very happy with it. So that's it for this week. Um, anyone, if you're interested in the Vigan, before I put it maybe on eBay or some of the forums, contact me and maybe we can work something out. None of the rest of the collection is for sale. This is, this is your chance. This is the one car I have for sale right now. So everyone have a good week. Please like and subscribe.